Hi there. For this video, we are tasked to find the value of x in this given equation. So to solve for this, we first note that we can write the given equation as convert 4 into 2 squared. So we have mm, 2 squared raised to x minus 1 minus 2 raised to x minus 8 is equal to 0. Now from laws of exponents, we can multiply this exponent out here. So we will have 2 raised to 2x minus 2 minus 2 raised to x minus 8 is equal to 0. From here, we can split this up by our idea on laws of exponents and so we will have 2 raised to 2x times 2 raised to negative 2 minus 2 raised to x minus 8 equals 0. So from here, again from laws of exponents, we can write this one as 2 raised to x squared. So uh, inputting the remaining terms, we have times 2 raised to negative 2 is simply 1 over 2 squared. And then we have minus 2 raised to x minus 8 equals 0. So let's clear out some space first. So, so far we have written the given expression into this one. Now here comes the fun part. Observe that this one out here two is 2 raised to x and this one is 2 raised to x. And this one has a square. So what can we do to easily solve for the value of x in this one? The key is we can let, let y equals 2 raised to x. So we will have y squared times 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4, so we can simply write 1 over 4 out here, minus 2 raised to x is y minus 8 equals 0. And from here, what can you observe? We now have a quadratic equation. So we simply apply the principles of quadratic equation in order to solve for y. But, but we're asked to solve for x but if after we solve y we simply go back to this one and we'll be able to get x imaging so we now focus on this equation the first thing that i would do is i would multiply for both sides to simply keep the coefficient of the leading term one so we will have y squared minus 4y minus 32 is equal to 0. And you can verify that we can factor this one out as y minus 8 and y plus 4 equals 0. Which implies that this one out here plus that y is equal to 8 or y is equal to negative 4. So we have two cases. So if we have case 1, y is equal to 8 
if y is equal to 8, then we have 2 raised to x is equal to 8, which is simply 2 raised to x equals 2 cubed. So we know that x is equal to 3. How about if we have case 2, which is y equals negative 4. Then we have 2 raised to x equals negative 4. And note that this is impossible. Since for exponents, its outcome must always be positive, especially if this one is a positive base. So you can argue that what if this one is negative? Then we will have 2 raised to negative, say, yeah, say negative 1. Then this is simply 1 over 2, which is still positive. So there isn't really a case where this will be negative. So this is not possible. Which means that the only possible value of x is this one out here, x equals. And that is the answer for this problem. So the key in solving this one is being able to convert the given equation into this form. Since when we are in this form, we can simply let y equals 2x and we'll simply have a quadratic equation out here. But of course, it's not easy to quickly observe that we can do that in this problem. So how do we able to quickly observe that? Well, it's simple. Just practice a lot of examples. If you are able to practice examples similar to this in just one look, you'll simply know what to do and be able to solve for x quickly and immediately. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment down below. Any suggestions, comments, clarifications, or even your own solution to this one. Also, while you're at it, you can check the community tab in my YouTube page, YouTube website. Since I have a poll there, which um, uh, wherein I ask what type of videos you want to see in my future videos for this channel, so you can vote there. And also, I also have an Instagram page out there. So you can check it out in my YouTube website or page. So yeah, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, that's all for this video.